Did you ever in your mind think that a relationship of yours would get this far? Like the, that the craziness would get this far with John? Absolutely not. I hadn't, I wouldn't have dated him if I knew any of this. What so, was it about John that captivated you at first? Um, a few things. Uh, I think he was a doctor. So I thought, okay, he's got a career. Um, his charm. Yeah. I'm learning a lot about charming people, though. <laughs> um, his looks, his interest, uh, he said all the right things. So, and he had a family. He has a picture on his, on his um, dating site that is of his daughters. Mm -hmm. So I thought, oh, he's a family man, this is great. So I thought he had it all that I was looking for. What was the first red flag for you? Well, he wanted to get married within like date two. Or maybe it's the fact that he was, he ran in, jumped on my bed and kept talking about this mattress feels so good. Little did I know he'd been in prison. So he didn't, you know, that's why the bed felt so good. Yeah. <laughs> but wouldn't you women's intuition go crazy once someone does that? Like, did you not have that gut feeling that something's up with this guy? I did, but I sort of pushed it aside yeah. because it was, there were too many good things happening that night. So I was just excited about who I thought he was. Is your mom a hopeless romantic? A little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like it's human nature to want someone there. You know, it's like you want to have companionship and it's, you know, yeah. to recreate people, but just to have someone there, it's so nice. Yeah. What was the scariest moment for you throughout, like looking back on it? <sighs> the scariest moment, there are several. Um, at what point were you like, I'm fearing for my life at this point? Like, this man may kill me. Well, there were a few times, but I think it escalated when he uh, set my car on fire. That's when, and I had so many people involved. I had a forensic psychiatrist involved. I had a, um, well, he was social, sur or <laughs> he was um, security. Um, he was a PI. Mm -hmm. Everything was a lie. Everything. Everything. I can't think of one thing that wasn't. That's the craziest yeah. thing. Yeah. I cannot fathom living with someone. Like, how do you like wrap your head around the fact that you lived with someone for so long and they lied about everything? How do you get over something like that? You look into it. Um, well, it's again, it's John. Obviously, there's a lot of men and women out there like that, but I just have to remember that he's not the norm. Mm -hmm. Hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> <laughs>